Hey guys, what is going on? HDV here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Moon Woodlock. If you guys are enjoying the series, then please do show some love to that like button down below. 150 likes is always greatly appreciated. Ready to help out the video of the channel, all that good stuff in the last episode. We made our way to the legendary Altar of the Sun. The team, as is, as stands, I didn't do any grinding because I'm right at the legendary place and I didn't want to cause anything to happen. Because this is like one of the most important parts of the game. But anyway, we've got Lily standing on the side. She's like, hey, how you doing? And I'm about to go catch a legendary after I climb the 22,000 stairs of life. So, you know, I'm going to use a cheat code and go up there with my Tauros to save everybody time. Because who wants to watch me climb 62,284.5 stairs? Because the last stairs a little bit rubbly. Either way, we could be winning trading a legendary this episode, guys. So, <laughs> I'm not ready to do that because I'm probably going to get like a sparrow for it and if I do oh that's going to be great anyway I can feel the strong power of the moon Nebby I'm going to make my mother wake up and see reasons before I send you back to your own world I'm going to make her hear me I'm going to tell her how I feel even if I'm not a trainer I can still do that much still do that much she can still do that much the sun flute it feels like it was made to fit my head I think I can play it wish I could just pick up an instrument and be like hey grade 8 bang but I'm not lucky like that I ain't lucky like that. You stand there, Lily. Don't get your feet wet, because there is water around you. HV, you should stand over there. Tch, don't worry, I'm going to. This ain't my first rodeo. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited to trade this legendary. I really am. I'm going the wrong way. Maybe it is my first rodeo. Lovely little puddle splash, as we all love. Will I blow the moon flute? <laughs> yes, I will. Here we go. The legendary is about to rise. I'm, I'm really excited to see what this scene is going to be like in Ultra Sun and Moon. Like, because maybe Necrozma appears or something when you do it instead. I don't know. This just reminds me of the Wind Waker. I don't know why. Why does it? I really don't know. Anyway, things are happening. Blue and purple was shooting up into the t altar of the moon. Oh, it's happening. Always happening. I mean, you got to love these kind of cutscenes, though. You can tell that a lot of work went into this one. Here we go. It's happening. I'm like, oh. And she's like, yeah, this one's happening. And then Cos Cosmo is just in a bag. Only weighs like a gajillion kilograms. But hey, Lily, if you want to put it in your bag like that, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Cosmo is going in, though. He's like, watch me evolve. I might just use my Master Ball. So I'm not going to be able to use it in any other game. And it's going to speed up the process. So if you think about it, like... Yeah, like I said, I can't... I'm not going to be able to use it, am I? Am I? I don't know. So I won't be able to put it into a Sun and Moon. Because you can't transfer items in Pokebank, so... Yeah, I'm just going to catch it in a Master Ball to save time. I know it has an incredibly high catch rate, but I'm just going to throw a Master Ball, because why not? But that is a Lunala in the flesh. <laughs> You're going to get one traded. You're going to have five minutes of screen time. Is this where I catch it? Nenebi, thank goodness you're all right. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. And I never imagined that sounding the flutes would give you so much power. or let you evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, it would. Not in all my reading. Never did I ever come across any hint that you would evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Please, Lunala. No. Nevi, please. I need to see my mother. I Well, it's getting water traded, Lily, so... Sorry. I do apologize. Do you need it for any parts of the game? Because I don't want to break the game. I don't think you do. When do I battle it? I think I battle it soon. Or maybe I don't. What's 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 it doing? It's creating wormholes. Right, what's it doing? What are you doing, Lunala? Oh, scoop me up. Um, we're going through the ultra wormhole. Oh, is this where I fight Lunala? Um, Lucimine? This is where I fight Lucimine. It is. And then I catch it. Oh, no. Lucimine. Uh-oh. I'm in ultra space. It's happening. Next episode when we're going to trade this legendary away. All in next episode. But this, if there's going to, we might never even get to next episode if we lose a Lucimine. Like, she starts off with a Clefable that has, like, they all have, like, the power boosts. 
and then they're all like ridiculously annoyingly powerful do you think the ultra beasts really are pokemon i don't know what to call them anymore we should go we should lily good one do i have to fight people in the ultra space or is it straight up to lose to me and i feel like i have to fight team school i don't remember any of this game are you telling us you have to stay there why you're like my ticket to winning i'm so grateful to you for bringing me thank you nebby and then bye guys sorry i got an introduction there anyway Nebby, thank you. I guess we have the rest of it away. I don't even know what she said there, but anyway. I need to go fight Lusamune. I do apologize. But Lusamune, you're going down. Lily, I don't want to destroy your mother right in front of you, but... Cutscene time. The whole video is a cutscene. Oh, Guzma. I'm the team skill boss, and I've never been scared of anything or nobody. Heck, I live my life making people scared of me. So listen to what my big bad Guzma has to say. I'd rather take a drink. How in the world did you get to this place? I've got no idea how you did it, but here they are. Here we are, Guzma. It's all dark here. I've got no clue what's going on, but there's beasts everywhere. I tried to catch one of those things. Oh, here we go. Good old flashback. How come it does look like Lily anyway? Like, was that ever, like, revealed? Why it kind of looks like Lily? I don't know. Didn't happen though. Didn't catch it. But it possessed me. And that's when it happened. My body, my mind, they started running wild and I couldn't do anything about it. Really thirsty. Remember the team school boss and I've never been scared of anything or nobody, but that lady, she's on another level. She's way far gone. She lost her mind out th over these ultra beasts. There's no taking to her. No reasoning with her. She's just gone. Lee, I don't think you're going to do it, pal. It doesn't change anything. I still have to go. No, Lily, come back or just go. I don't know how I always get, like, roped into these situations. I don't want to. Do I fight her now? Just cutscene after cutscene. So, it's just a long cutscene, guys. So, I don't know really what to say in this, like, 22-minute cutscene, except, uh, how you all doing? Can take another drink. I'm nearly out of water. Because there's so many cutscenes. I remember this being like full. A world where the only thing that exists in the love between Nil Higo and myself. So beautiful, so delicious. This is the real paradise. And yet you. Why must you continue to pass to me? I'm sick of you. Sick through and through. We told you that you would come here to the perfect, beautiful world of beasts of me. Think about what you are saying. What about Mr. Guzma? Don't you care what happens to him? Don't think she does. Just leave. I don't need you here. I don't need you any longer. Look around you. Look at this beautiful world that I've finally come to. You want me to go back to the world that's what you've come to bother me for? Even you cannot be that stupid. Bit harsh on your daughter, but hey. I don't have kids. Always do that. It's just like it was back to Aether Paradise. Only thinking of yourself and what you want. What? Why, why, and why shouldn't I? I can't live here in a world only filled with things that I love. And I will live here. Oh, okay. Can we just battle? Like, are you going to fuse anytime soon? Let's just skip through this cutscene. Because we all know what they say. I don't want to spend the whole episode just going through a cutscene. I know it's like one of the most important cutscenes in the whole entire game but like we just want to see some battle action oh lily is not happy i'm the one who's sick of you mother children children are not just things that belong to their parents pilgrimon are not just things that a trainer can do whatever they want to <laughs> and i am alive oh lily's got some fire in her bones right now You are terrible. I mean, that's a bit harsh. She doesn't really seem bothered, though. How am I different from any Pokemon trainer like your little friend there? What do you do with Pokemon you can't use? You drew them up from your party as you please. It's a bit, it's a bit true, actually. Uh, when I don't really use a Pokemon that I need, it just goes into the box, doesn't it? Box one is its new home. So she's kind of she's kind of right in that regard, to be fair to her. You know, I don't like the person, but when I, do, when I don't like Pokemon, I'm like, boop. Open up box one. Boop. 
dropped into box one. This is a long cutscene. Here's her Nilahigo. And a good old beast ball. Right, so this is going to be a difficult episode to win. Episode to win, battle to win. She's now fused. I don't know if we're going to do this. Wait, who's... I basically have four Pokemon. Because my other two aren't grinded up. I probably should have grinded them up. That would have been smart. She's not even letting me start my party. Great. I don't even know if everyone's healed right now. She has five Mons. Okay, Fable's coming out. Of course, it's got that power boost. Let's go, Del Fox. Please say you're healed. You're healed. You've got to be healed. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm a flamethrower. It's going to cause me power, and it's not what I want to see. Let's do this. Try and snag a burn. That literally did nothing. We got that burn! No! I'm talking about... Psychic Terrain? Ooh. I can't remember what that does. The battlefield did get weird. Well, I'm going to hit you up with a powerful side shot because your spadef is probably really high right now. So let's hit you on the physical side. Oh, that's some damage. Don't even think about Okomi right here. Ring out. Okay. That's fine. That... Why did that do so much? I love how burn doesn't even matter because it's got thingy. Which is fine. It's dead anyway. But it's just funny that we get a lucky burn and it just doesn't work on Clefable. Clefable is such a good Pokemon. Boom! Level 55. This is a really tough battle. Give me that experience points. Right. Yes, everyone grown those levels. Yeah, Primarina is nearly 40. That's kind of cool. And my Lotic. Oh, I literally have nothing for that. I can Rock Blast it with Gla I mean, I can Freeze Dry it. But it's got such high special defense. I feel like Rock Blast, Rock Blast will be a better attempt, to be fair. It's probably going to have Scold and just burn me, but this is Pokemon. These are the things that we think are going to happen. Anyway. Oh, Milotic. What boost do you have? Either way, let's just Rock Blast. Hydro... That could have actually killed. I just realized that that actually could have killed. But it's resisted though, isn't it? So it shouldn't kill. Rock Blast is literally doing nothing to this thing. Okay, nearly did half. I think I can live a Hydro Pump. Oh, this is the situation we're in right now. No, I love that recover. It's just the best thing in the world. I'm pretty sure we can hit this thing down to half with these five Rock Blasts. I don't think we can, actually. That was a bit of confidence. In fact, we got, like, the lowest rolls right now. Right, the weirdness disappeared from the battlefield. Okay, doesn't really affect me or anybody else. Let's Rock Blast again. I feel like he's just going to keep recovering. And I don't have a Pokemon that can do anything about that. Really. So we keep firing off these Blasts of Rock. Go to half. Why do you keep recovering? Just hit me with a Hydro Pump. Hit me with your best shot. Safeguard's fine. Safeguard is fine. Because then I can hit it with an Ice Shard and it probably is not going to do anything. But if it's like on literally nothing, no health at all. Hang on. We ain't getting a crit. No, I don't. Oh, do I Ice Shard? Do I Ice Shard? I'm going to do it. It has to kill. Please. Oh, that's good. Oh, I had to because it was just going to recover. I was going to outspeed me and recover and that would have been just annoying. Lilligan. Okay, I can deal with that. I can definitely deal with that. Let's go Delphox. Lilligan survived the flamethrower last time, didn't it? So I may use my Z move here. Actually, there's no point because I may need that later on. So I think it's just safer to go for a flamethrower here. Yeah, let's do that. Playing for a time. Catch one of these. This probably won't kill. Oh, oh kill. That's fine. It's great. I'm all about that. Everybody growing those levels. Miss Magius. See, that's scary. 
I mean, I have crunch on my Glalie. Let's just do that. Miss Magnus is very fast and scary. I don't want to be dealing with that with my Delphox, who is a psychic type. Hey, at least we get a legendary after this if after this battle. Shadow Ball, this could do a lot. Oh, that's definitely over half. And I didn't kill with Miss Uh The defense did fall though. What do I go into that can take I mean Primarina can take it. Let's go into Burinos. Burritos. Burritos. I don't actually think I can hit it, because Bri no, it has levitate, doesn't it? No, no, it doesn't, because high horsepower is effective. So let's go into our burritos. I don't know how much Shadow Ball is going to do, but I hopefully not half. Pain split? Oh, now, now, now we're, now we're being annoying. That did way too much damage. Way too much. Let's Earthquake. Why are you pain splitting? That's helping me out. Or it doesn't. It does have levitate? Wait, but then why did it say it was effective? Oh, this is a situation that I don't want to be in. Right, let's Hyper Potion my Glalie. It isn't minus one defense, but I just literally have nothing that can deal with it. Right, it's going to keep pain splitting me. Why am I not getting any health back from your pain split? Did it like change or something? Let's go back into Glalie. Hopefully it pain splits me. So crunch from him may kill. It may shadow more me though. Which is, I know it's going to. Okay, pain split's fine. You're actually going to get a little bit of health back, aren't you? That's so stupid. Right. Crunch time. Now it's going to shadow ball me. Oh, Glalie. Surviving it. My special attack fell. That's fine. Let's crunch. Please kill, please kill, please kill. Oh, oh that is annoying. Okay, I can go into Primarina, right? Primarina literally resists all this thing stab. I know, I've got Aqua Jet. It's gonna work. I just need to live this one attack, which I think I can with Primarina. I should be okay. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. That's legitimately the definition of annoying. Let me hyper potion my Primarina. Oh, why you doing those pain split things? What you got for me then? Another pain split. Great. It's great. It's great. It's just great. Let me heal up my Glalie and go back out into it. Oh, Miss Magius is annoying. Another pain split. I shouldn't really get you any health back. No. Okay. Let me go back out into Glalie. I'm hoping it need. If it goes for a pain split now, I win. Well, I beat Miss Magius anyway. Please. Okay. Oh, it's going to get a bit of health back. Oh, it's not going to kill from there. It might kill from there. <sighs> Glalie, you need the biggest crunch of your life. It's crunch time, Glalie. Hit him up. It asks them with power gem. That's damage. Please kill. Oh, yes, it's down. It falls. The Miss Magius drops. Right, okay. Everyone getting levels. That's what we like. That's what we like. Yes. What's your last mod? A beware. Um, I have a Del Fox. But that's kind of scary. Do I go into burritos? And like, double kick it? So I feel like it's going to have like, crunch or something. And burritos' defense is through the roof. So it should be alright. Here it comes. Drops in. Beware. Beware of this double kick. Or do I counter? I don't know how fast this is. Yeah, let's counter. Oh, that's not what you want to see. That makes my attack go down. Let's double kick. Why does everything have pain split? I mean, give me the health back. That literally did zilch. And I'm talking z -z -z zilch. Right, we've got to go into Del Fox. It's going to pain split me probably, but we're on like the same health anyway, so it should be okay. And his other move was Baby Doll Eyes. So it has pain split and Baby Doll Eyes. Why is this thing like pain splitting everything? Hammer Arm. Okay, we do resist that. Okay, that's still doing damage that I don't like. We out... Okay, we're definitely out speeding now. I'm definitely going to hide Potion here. Probably going to pain split, which is going to be not on my to-do list. 
at all. No. There we go, the pain split. Let's see how much a side shock does. Okay, that literally didn't get you any health back. Maybe because Beware's health is really, really high. Less side shock anyway. My computer screen has turned itself off, which is great. Anyway, side shock time. Okay, that's doing a bit more damage. Don't pain split. Okay, takedowns just as good. Don't hit. That's damage. Does Buwe get any priority? I don't know. I'm banking on the, the fact that it doesn't. It doesn't. That's all good. Because if I hyper potion there and it pain splitted, I would have been in the same situation. Anyway, Buwe falls. And we beat Nihiligo Lusamine, or whatever you call her. Oh, that was difficult. Very difficult. So difficult, in fact, that I nearly lost. Could seem time after every battle. See you later. Hi. He's like, oh my god. It's kind of crazy. Lunala coming through. I mean, this is a great cutscene, to be fair. Hit some up with that thingy. I don't know what that attack is, but it looks like it's doing some d -d -d damage. Oh, that definitely knocked her out. Oh, no, she's still annoyed. She's just crazy. What's happening to her? I feel like that was a Moon Geist beam or something that just attacked her then. We're good. We're all good. Hey, we're all good. Huh. Oh, she's fallen. Someone help her. Where'd the beast ball go? Like, into her hair? Mother. Oh, no. Mother. You alright? How you doing? Lily. Touching. Emotional is the word I'd go for. God, what I'd do for a skip button right now. Yep, it's emotional. Heh. It's funny. How crazy would it be if she died at this point? <laughs> when did you start becoming beautiful? Ooh, nicest thing she's ever said to her. Hits you right in the feels. Is this cutscene done yet? Got a legendary Pokemon to trade. Oh, things are happening. We gotta get out of ultra space. Do we? No. I don't know. I'm getting mixed up with Ultra Sun Moon now. I feel like we fly out of ultra space on, on Lunala, but we don't, do we? Lunala just teleports us out. Right? Hurry up. Oh. There goes Lusamine. What is happening? Can I leave? Please? Hey, we're back. Hey! Right, we want to skip through all this because we don't really want to deal with it. I can't believe I'm going to trade away a legendary Pokemon. I just can't. I just can't. Who does that? Like, this is probably going to be the, one of the only legitimate legendary Pokemon on Wonder Trade. And the person that guess is going to be a very, very happy bunny. It's just going to be the, the worst trade I've ever done in my life. Really. Thank you. Thank you all so much. So I... You fight Lunala, but I was the one that, you know, defeated your crazy mother and all that stuff. I didn't even want to come to with you to Water Space, so where's my thank you? You're going to let me catch you? Hey. I don't... I feel like I should say right now to Lily, like... You know, as soon as I catch it, it's getting traded to some random person in the world. Lily's like, yes, this legendary Pokemon that I've traveled with for ages, that I love and care for... Finally, I will give it to you, HDV, because, you know, I'm a good friend. And I'm like, well, cheers. That. But, you know. 
No, she can't. No, you can't go with you, Lily. Okay, I'll catch it. I'll catch it. And we're gonna end the episode here, so we're gonna start tomorrow, well, next episode off with a legendary wonder trade. Anyway, that is everything for this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please do show some love to that like button down below. I really do appreciate it. Remember my second channel, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram channel, Discord, Patreon. All of that is in the description down below. If you do want to check any of those out, I would greatly appreciate it. That is everything, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have an incredible rest of your day. Until next time, guys. Peace.